What is going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD and over the past couple of days I got a chance to spend a lot of time with both the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 10 which both ship with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean so I wanted to give you guys a tour of the OS and show you exactly what is new. We'll go ahead and start out with lock screen widgets. Obviously, once you are on your lock screen, you can either swipe left or right to access them. If you want to add a new one, just simply tap the plus button, and then you can choose from a handful of different widgets to add to your lock screen. From what I can tell, you're not limited to just either one left or right. You can keep adding them. So let's go ahead and unlock the phone and see what else is new. Now that we're in the phone, we can check out quick settings. So what you do is you swipe down like you normally would for notifications, tap that button, and boom, you got access to things like brightness, settings, battery, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and Bluetooth, which I found extremely convenient. The next thing I want to show you guys is multi-user support. So unlike the iPad, you can actually add multiple users. So here's a quick look at it. It's really simple to add a user. Once you're on the lock screen, you just tap in between profiles. You can unlock that and bam, you are in the new setting. Now, as of now, this is tablet only, but I don't really see a need or want to have something like this on a phone, maybe unless you got split personalities, but nonetheless, this is definitely a very useful feature. Next, we can go ahead and take a look at Daydream, which is a fancy word for a screensaver. You have a few different options. You can choose from clock, colors, which is self-explanatory. You then have currents, which essentially is kind of like flipboard, but in screensaver mode. Now, I don't have any photos on here yet, but you can also choose from a photo frame or a photo table, and this will engage either when it's docked or charging. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to the Nexus 4 for this one, and this is probably one of my favorite updates about 4.2, and that is pinch to zoom on Gmail. It is freaking awesome. One of my biggest complaints with Android email is the fact that it never properly rendered it or scaled it, so this is what it looks like before. Do note though that by default, it is actually set to look like this, so you actually have to go into the settings, select this, and boom, it is a million times better. Look how smooth that is. I cannot tell you how much I love this feature. Next, we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the Nexus 10 to show off gesture typing, which isn't new or innovative. What you do is you swipe from letter to letter to spell out words. It's not innovative, but it definitely works well and it's nice that it is included for free on Android 4.2. There were also improvements to Google Now, which even before Android 4.2 was awesome. I'll even go as far as saying I prefer it over Siri. Now you can do things like check out movie times or even track a package, which to me is fantastic. Lastly, we'll go ahead and talk about the camera software improvements, which is packed full of awesomeness. It is really easy and intuitive to access settings. All you gotta do is tap and hold, then you can swipe to access things like white balance, exposure, flash, or even built-in HDR, which you guys can see an example of right here. It's not amazing, but it definitely works well. Android 4.2 also went a little hipster on us with built-in Instagram-like filters that you guys can check out right here. Obviously, we're gonna see Panorama, but Google is one-upping that with Photosphere, which is essentially Panorama on steroids. So how it works is you essentially take pictures in a 360 degree environment, it then stitches everything together and kind of gives you like a Google map experience on your picture, which is definitely one of the coolest features on Android 4.2. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sure there's a few I missed out on. Let me know what your favorite new improvement is with a comment down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. I am also hard at work on the reviews for both the devices. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on any of that coverage. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys later.